Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial two on introductory Python for image processing. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna talk about the basics of digital image, what is it, and what is digital image processing. And I'm sure most of you know what it is, and uh, I'm covering this topic just to make sure everyone is on the same page before we move on to the more uh, advanced topics, especially starting off with uh, uh, Python coding. So a digital image is, uh, if you want to define it, it's, a, uh, it's an arrangement of pixels in n dimensions. Okay, for a two-dimensional image, you have x-axis, you have y-axis, right? And uh, if you have a 3D image or a stack image, then you have the z-axis in addition to that. Okay, for uh, 4D images, which is, uh, let's say, 3D image plus time series, now you have a timestamp in addition of these dimensions. So that's why I call it N dimensions. And by the way, you can have like 1000 dimensions uh, images. Okay, uh, so a, uh, let's just look at a simple case of two dimensional image. You have X and Y, and at every pixel, what values do we have? Well, if it's a color image, at every pixel, if it's an RGB color image, at every pixel, you have uh, three values, one for red, one for green, one for blue, okay? These are pixel values because this is a color image and it has, it can be either uh, red, green, or blue, or a combination of these in, so with certain, uh, you know, for example, red can be 100 uh, and uh, green can be 200 and blue can be, I don't know, 20. Okay, and uh, think of it as actually equally mixing these colors by these weights I just talked about. So what that means is if you can split this image into red, green, and blue, each of this is a 2D image. In, uh, in a way, you can call a color image as a three-dimensional image because you have three dimensions stored within one image. So you look at the red channel, for example, you have like dark pixel, which has a value of zero typically, and a bright pixel that uh, has a value of whatever the highest limit of that is. It can be 255, it can be 65,000. It depends on the bit depth. Now, what is a bit depth? Well, a bit depth is if, it's, if the bit depth is eight, then you have two to the power of eight, that many gray levels uh, uh, within that range. So here for an eight bit image, zero to 255. Okay, so if you look at the 8-bit image representation here, you have uh, 0 as black and 255 as white. If it's a 16-bit image, your 0 is, again, black, and your 65,535 is white. So in summary, a pixel can have values ranging from 0 to 255 or 0 to 65,535, or these numbers can also be uh, 0.123 or 0 0.5. So it can also be floating point numbers. Yeah, it can be values between 0 and 1. So then that's a different type of image. Okay, so typically, uh, if you're handling images in ImageJ or any other software, you probably converted images from RGB to 8 bit or 16 bit, and this is exactly what it means. Now, when you segment an image, you're converting every pixel into either a zero or a one, right? So if you take this blue image that I had earlier uh, that represents uh, a nucleus, now if you threshold it or segment it, right, you either convert each pixel into a value of zero or one. So this is a binary image. So segmentation is nothing but binarization or, or uh, 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 converting an image into a, uh, a binary image, you know, or a one bit depth image. So that's what segmentation is. So let me uh, uh, represent this uh, one more way. So here, let's say you take a grid of these images, okay? And uh, when you perform digital image processing, what are you doing? You're actually manipulating these numbers by using an algorithm. And the algorithm can be linear, it can be nonlinear. Let's not get into those uh, discussions. But just to give you a quick example, let's say we want to apply a kernel. A kernel is nothing but if you have a Gaussian kernel, it, rep it, sh it represents a bell curve, right? It represents a Gaussian. When you apply it on the central pixel, let's say that has a value of 42. When you apply this kernel, all it's doing is, it's, it's actually multiplying these values around here. So in other words, uh, the central pixel 42 is multiplied by one, okay? This pixel that uh, has minus one over there is multiplied by 170, 245 multiplied by zero, and so on. So this is a three by three kernel, and I'm representing a three by three space. And the result of 394 is what is replaced at this position of 42, okay? So instead of 42, we actually put a number of 394. And then this filter moves 
by, in this example, one step. That's called a stride, okay? So it moves by one step. It does the same math again, moves, same math, moves, same math, and so on, and it repeats the entire. You can do it by hand if you want. But then if your image is 1000 by 1000 pixels, just imagine how many times you have to do it. And computers are fast at doing it. That's why we're using computers. So this is, in summary, this is what a digital image processing is. In the next tutorial, let's perform a couple of quick digital image operations in image J and uh, Zen and get a bit more understanding of digital image processing. And then in the uh, tutorials after that, let's jump into actual Python. So thank you very much for your attention and let's meet in the next tutorial.